What's up guys, Mike BK Phony here, and I want to drop a video talking about some of the things that are going on this weekend. First off, last weekend, we had a little giveaway on with Daisy and all that stuff, and I already picked a winner, which is great. I uh, used a ridiculously random, a little too random, uh, of an algorithm in order to figure out who was the winner. Uh, but it worked out great, actually, which is awesome. There was a thousand plus comments, which is insane. Uh, but the winner's been contacted. Congratulations to you, sir. His name has Jub in it, J-U-B. I can't remember the rest of it. It's like I-K, Jub, something. Uh, anyways, lots of stuff going on this weekend. I am going to be giving away more Daisy products because uh, I have, again, so so much Daisy. I don't know what to do. Um, that uh, I'll be doing that not today. So don't leave a comment here. It's not going to do it today. We're going to be doing it probably again starting uh, next week with another vlog. Um, I like giving away stuff during the vlogs because it forces you guys to listen to know what to put in the keywords at the bottom. <laughs> it's I go twisting your arm. Hey, I'm, you want free stuff? You got to listen to me talk for a little while first. Um, but we have some stuff going on tomorrow. I have a BFF report coming out either later today or tomorrow. I just got done filming the host part of it. I still need to go through and piece together some of the actual footage. Uh, I get all that stuff squared away. It's on Air Mac, not on the Gunners. The Gunners, I want to wear these for another solid week. I want to make sure I get lots and lots of time, hands-on time with the product before I review it. Um, what else? So there's a BFF report tomorrow or late tonight. I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see. If it's tomorrow, it's going to be around 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time AM, which is plenty of time for you to do uh, Tune in for this week in MMO uh, at three o'clock on GameBreaker.tv or you know whatever. There's there's lots of stuff going on tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus, uh, kicking off with of course, like I said, this week in MMO we have that. Uh, that's at three o'clock, and that's what we talk about. That's on GameBreaker. We talk about lots of MMO related content. It's probably gonna be a little bit of Guild Wars Two in there because Guild Wars Two is launching tomorrow night, but we're not even there yet. We have Daisy the Hunger Games. That's going on. This is by Quick Nap and all those guys. Um, it's a very very great, a cool concept. Game Breaker TV is involved. We're going to help them push it as far as like through social networks and whatnot. I get the word out, get people in there watching. The way it's going to work, it's going to be streamed on several channels. Mine of them is going to be one of them. Uh, so twitch.tv slash AKMikeB. I would just follow me at twitter.com slash AKMikeB or Facebook. I'll keep you guys updated through that. All that Twitch does is it just notifies you whenever I go live, which is fine. You can do that too if you want. Uh, but I'm not complaining that you want to follow me on all these things. Um, but uh, it's going to be a live event. We're pushing it through the social networks of, obviously, mine, uh, Game Breakers, and Quick Nap, and, 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 and all these guys. It's a very cool concept. Hunger Games. It's basically Last Man Standing, right? Just to, to throw all the references out the window if you haven't seen Hunger Games. Last Man Standing. There's a bunch of rules in place. There's a, a, like in a certain area that we have to kind of be around whatnot. But the coolest thing is that we have dev support to the point where we have uh, scripts. Now, I've not seen the scripts yet. So if tomorrow we show up and we don't have scripts to do this stuff, then I'm, that, that's not my fault. But uh, we, we know that we have contact with the devs. We know that we have scripts on the way. And what these scripts allow us to do on this private server that we have set up is to move, we think, uh, to be able to move more free than the average person would. So the average person is on a character. They just get to run around. Uh, I believe that we will probably have much more control over that. Uh, I'm hoping that it's to the level, uh, to the degree of being able to bounce from player to player, because that would make streaming this amazing. It would be so good if we could do that. Uh, more details on that to come. I realize it's difficult to say when it, the event's going to be happening in like 24 hours, but uh, it's, it is it is something that when you're working with devs and you're working with lots of people trying to organize it, 16 streamers, uh, it is kind of difficult to organize all this stuff. But it'll be a great trial run, because if this works out, we could do like a last man t standing type event in DayZ. You're damn right we're going to be doing this all the time. So uh, I will have more information on that as we go along. And that starts at 6 o'clock Pacific time. <sighs> okay, then we have the Guild Wars 2 pre-launch party, because Guild Wars 2 launches at midnight tomorrow night. So, and that's a head start, by the way. Uh, so we're going to do a pre-launch party, just like we did for World of Warcraft, Cataclysm, and all that stuff. Um... And in this case, it's going to start a little bit earlier than normal because we know that the servers are going to be coming up at least one to maybe three hours prior to midnight. Now, for those, those of you guys who don't know that, uh, I believe they put it out on Twitter and whatnot. Uh, they have a habit of launching servers a little bit early to kind of ease the, the, uh, <laughs> ease the blow of having who knows how many hundreds of people, <laughs> hundreds of people uh, just basically knocking down their servers all at once at midnight. So that's very smart of them on their part. So that means that the uh, the launch party is probably going to be between 8 and 9 on G uh, GameBreaker.tv. So just go to GameBreaker.tv slash live, and you'll see that around 8 o'clock. Mike Shaft is going to be hosting that. Uh, we were going to have the Hunger Games DayZ thing 
uh, on the Game Breaker channel, but having to move people around like that really wouldn't work out. And the, the Game Breaker DayZ thing is going to be probably a six-hour ordeal, which I am stoked about. I think this is going to be the greatest thing ever, uh, assuming, of course, the tech works out. So private server, scripts, uh, lots of really popular streamers taking part in the whole, this whole thing. Uh, I think this this whole thing is going to be amazing. Uh, but uh, that's what but we have to try it first. <laughs> we won't know until we actually jump in there and and, uh, and try it out. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Guild Wars 2 uh, pre-launch party on GameBreaker.tv. <sighs> this week in MMO. <clears throat> uh, what else? Uh, I'm going to be on MMO Bomb co- uh, podcast Sunday night at 6 o'clock. I'll have more information on that. I'll be tweeting that out. Uh, as far as information is concerned, well, where to listen to it and all that stuff when it's released or live, etc. <sighs> Man, that's a lot of crap. Um, I already mentioned these. <sighs> Hold on. <sighs> I know there's more. I know there's more. Uh, let's see, we have about one week left working on new negative pH stuff. Uh, I could probably cut the video right here, but uh, I want to make sure I get everything out. Uh, I have new negative pH stuff coming out. Uh, this song is super awesome. It is probably one of my favorite songs because it started off with a, it's an older song that we worked on. See, you, if you guys want to tune out, you guys already know what's going on, go ahead and tune out now. Uh, but the rest of this is really just kind of BSing. Um, I stream sometimes. Sometimes I stream when I'm working on music. And if those of you guys who are tuning in a couple nights ago, maybe it was like last week before I went on a uh, trip to Vegas, um, I was streaming a little bit of me working on a song called Halo. Now, Halo is like a working name, right? It's a, It was like H4L0 or something. Uh, we have a bunch of like stupid working names for stuff that have absolutely no relevance or connection to anything else. And it's not like it's a homage to, to the actual the game Halo or anything like that. Um, but uh, this song is awesome. I absolutely love it. I lo- love the elements that we, that we create in it. So now... We're taking it, we're updating it, and we're getting it ready for release. It's almost done. It sounds sick. Just right now as it sits, it sounds so awesome. I can't wait to play that for you guys. Um, hmm. What else? We have... Oh, World of Warcraft, Miss Pandaria, that's coming out, uh, 5.0, that's coming out on Tuesday. I'm really interested to see how that goes. I'm sure you guys are as well. Uh, I think next week's vlog might be on... Uh, might be on MOP. We'll see. Uh, I was thinking of making a vlog this week about uh, Jay Wilson's you know, Diablo 3 Facebook uh, gaff, I guess we could call it. Uh, but I don't think that's something that we need to cover anymore because he did come out and he apologized, uh, which is great. I assume that he probably wouldn't because you know, once it's disappeared, it's like gone. It's like, oh, uh, we don't have to worry about it. But he wrote a very lengthy, very detailed, almost like apology letter, but also kind of a state of the game in his eyes. Uh, which I thought was great. It was really, really good. You guys can read that by just going to like reddit.com r slash Diablo. It'll probably be there. Um, Diablo 3. And of course, in the forums itself. It's not hard to find that. Uh, let's see. Here here we go. Maybe I can play this for you guys really quick. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Let me fast forward a little bit. you guys can hear that and i hope it sounded terrible <laughs> i promise the, the, the this is like a rough rough draft uh we have a lot of work to put into it before we send it off to get mastered uh but that'll all be out later on i just wanted to kind of play you guys a clip because you know now we're at the point of the video we're just hanging out anyways uh lots of stuff happening over this weekend uh thank you for tuning in guys and obviously i want to throw out uh, just a separate thank you to everybody who's been following and supporting me on youtube twitter uh facebook 
And of course, uh, through everything that we've done with GameBreaker.tv, we've come a long way with that. We have a new design coming out that I think everybody's going to love. Uh, it's just been busy, 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 crazy busy. Uh, but I think I'm going to cut it now. So see you guys.